Hey guys, it's Jennifer with Emily Rose Boutique. Um, I already did this um, tutorial one time and I tried to upload it and it failed. Um, so I'm going to attempt to try this again. Um, I did one last year, um, I think with the um, Blake and Gwen Shelton. I think everyone's seen that. But this one is updated um, where you can do the whole thing in Inkscape, the whole knockout method in Inkscape, and just upload to Design Space to resize and cut. So I'm going to do that now. And my Inkscape may look different from yours because um, it's updated and I have the dark theme. Um, message me if you're interested in the dark theme and I can send you the link to where I got mine. Um, but the, the things that you're going to need are the same in the other versions of Inkscape. Okay. And with that, with that said, let's go ahead and get started. Okay. So when you open up Inkscape, um, you want to go to view. I hope you have custom. If not, it might just be for the dark mode. I don't know. I'm going to go to custom. Um, for the zoom, I'm going to go to the page so I can see my whole workspace. All right. And we're going to go down to text and we're going to get started. Okay. And I'm going to use the same two names that I did last time. So just so that there's not any confusion. Okay. Um, I'm not going to select my text that I want just yet. I'm just going to type what I'm doing first and then I'll go in and change the text. Okay. So there's my last name. And then down here, I'm going to do my other two names. Um, and I believe for the Aleph Glitter, it is the open bracket, I believe. Blake underscore. Gwen, I'm really not 100%, but we'll see when we change the um, font. Okay, go up to select, and we're going to start with the um, last name. While it's selected, go back to the text tool and come up to the fonts. And I'm going to change that to Times New Roman. And I'm going to bold that. And I'm going to go ahead and hit Control and hold it while I am pulling the corner up because that will keep it um, so it's not so skewed or anything like that because um, if you don't hold down the control button then this is what happens you can just do whatever okay so when you hold control and you pull a corner it keeps everything proportional okay I'm gonna go back to the text and I'm going to come up here and um, where the two A's are, um, I'm going to uh, close the space just a little bit, okay? But I'm still going to end up moving them manually because it just, it closed these down here, but then this, it, yeah. I'm just going to do it manually. So to do that, and this is one step that some people forget. Um, if you go to select, you'll see down here it says text. If you try to do this and save it as an SVG and you leave it as text, it's not going to, um, I mean, it will import, but it, you may have issues, you may have problems or whatever. This has to be converted to a path. So we're going to go up to the top and click on path object to path okay now you see it's all still one thing so we can't separate or move anything so to do that you want to go back up and click on object and you want to go down to ungroup and see it's it separated everything okay so I'm just going to hit um, the shift key and undo the S so that everything else is still highlighted and I'm just going to slide them down to as close as I want. Okay. Hit shift. And I'm going to slide this up hard just a tad. And I'm going to do that with every um, letter. If you click shift while you click, or if you hold shift while you click on the letter, it'll un 
select it or deselect it, whichever is the best way to say that. <laughs> okay, so give me just a minute to finish this. I've gotten to where I hardly ever um, design anything in design space um, just because I got tired of having to manually move all of my cursive fonts everything I want to be able to just type and go so with the exception of the knockout method I've just gotten to where it's so much easier um, to do everything in Inkscape and then just use design space to resize and cut um, there are a few things where I do design space and that's when I have to use a Cricut font <laughs> So, okay, now that that's, um, everything is together like I like it, you're going to go back up to path, and you're going to select union, okay? Now, I'm going to go back, um, I want to resize this, so you're going to go back and hit control and hold that down, pull the corner back up, pull the corner down here. Now for this, I do want to, um, like elongated a little bit so I'm going to the one in the middle and just pull it down some that's what I'm going to do there and that, I like that I think that looks good for now so we're done with that one and if you select it go down to the bottom it says path 230 nodes just in case you don't know I'm going to show you what nodes are under the select tool over here is a little button and it has yours may look different but you'll still see the nodes if you click on it look there's all of your nodes right there so if you click that button and your text does not have anything there's no nodes so you need to go back um, up to path and you need to do that to make it um, convert your text to a path okay so now we're going to do our second one and this is the main thing for the knockout um, and I always like to size it up just so that I can see what I'm working with. Um, we're going to go over to the text tool and let's see, change the font up here. I love glitter. There we go. It is perfect. Go back to the select tool, hit control, size it up some more, size it. All right. And before I move it up onto my top, I am going to change the color just so I can see it over the um, black. Okay? Now, before I change it to a path or anything like that, I want to go ahead and place it how I want it. Now, before I think I did it where the heart was like in the middle of the two letters, and you can do that if you want, but I'm just. I think I, I said in um, another video that I pretty much like to have my little swishes on the end um, equally hanging off of each letter, if that makes sense. So if I go in oops, and I come over to a line and I center it, see that just doesn't look good to me because it looks like it's hanging off a lot more over here than it is over here. So. I just try to center it myself and it doesn't matter um, how you do it is yours okay so you can change it however you want to uh oh okay so that's not the one I want that's the one I want <laughs> um, and that the closed heart is the um, actually no we'll go back to the open heart that's fine okay so now that I have uh oh what happened to my oh okay it's because I haven't changed it to a path yet okay so like I said this is equally hanging off each side just so so now that I have it positioned exactly where I like it and I said this in the last one I believe I don't like it perfectly up in the middle because sometimes it's hard to read the last name so I like to bring it down just a little bit just so you can see the last name so, okay, that, I think that looks good right there. Okay, well, yeah. So now, if you, while it's selected, come down to the bottom, you'll see text. Nope, there's not any nodes. So we're going to go change that. So with that selected, 
we're going to go to path we're going to go to object to path go to object go down to ungroup go back up to path down to union now if you come down to the bottom it says path 223 nodes so you've done it so now what do you do I'm just going to I selected every selected all and I'm just gonna bring it to the middle a little bit so you've done this so far now what do you do to make the knockout in my last video I showed you how to do it um, the linked offset way I have a new a new way that's a little bit easier um, or you can still continue to do the linked offset if you remember how to do that but to do the new way you want to make sure that your front text is selected and if you come down to the bottom and you see the fill no um, color and it matches your text color then that's the layer that you want and I'm showing you that for this very next reason okay we're going to duplicate this okay so you want to hit control and D now you want to change that color um, we're just going to change it to red okay so your top layer now is red okay come down to the fill it's red that's the layer that's selected okay what you want to do is you want to hit alt hold it down while you select the text okay your text selected looks like it's red right come down to the bottom you'll see your blue color that's the layer underneath okay that's see <laughs> okay so I'm going to go back to alt select the text that's the color that we want to use for the offset okay so instead of doing the linked offset we want to just do um, I'm not sure the shortcut if there's a difference I'm not sure okay anyway <laughs> you want to hit control zero so control plus zero and it automatically does it for you okay isn't that awesome yes that is totally cool I learned that shortcut and it just blew my mind total game changer right okay so now with the blue selected okay keep don't don't come off of that <laughs> um, you want to also hit shift and then your back layer so that's both of those two layers okay stay stay tuned this is the magic part go up to path all the way down and you want to click difference you ready here we go look at that perfect right all right now there's one last thing that you have to do and you may not need to do this um, step <coughs> excuse me if you have not updated your Inkscape okay and it may be because I have the dark mode I'm not sure but I have to do this and if you're like me or if your um, Inkscape looks like mine you may need to do this as well over to your layers panel you want to unlock your background okay so that's this white one see now you can move it around okay you want to just delete that okay now you're done go up to file save as and I'm going to save this on my desktop um, and we'll just do Shelton knockout and I'm saving it as a regular SVG whatever's already in there click save all right pull up pull up um, design space upload browse go to desktop Shelton knockout or whatever you did there we go hit save There it is, and you want to insert it. And there you go, it's already done. So all you have to do is resize and then cut. You can ungroup it if you want to, but I would suggest not doing that because then it would get everything off whack. But anyway, so I hope you enjoyed.